Auburn's annual 8 day scrimmage was played on Saturday. Fans got their first look at what the Tigers are going to be like with Hugh Freeze at the helm. And recruits also got a chance to see the program up close and personal. And some of the best prospects in the nation showed up on the Plains. We're going to get into those names in a second. But right now, Auburn fans, I need you to like this video and subscribe to the On3 YouTube page. It's an exciting time to be an Auburn fan, so hit that subscribe button for me right now. Now, Auburn recruiting currently sits at number 13 overall with only four commitments, but not to worry because Hugh Freeze already has a major piece of the class locked in, and that's four-star quarterback Walker White. Having an elite QB already on the commit list this early is a big help, especially for big recruiting weekends like this, and that's why Walker White was in town recruiting. Now, he wasn't the only notable Auburn Tiger in town. So was former two-sport star, football and baseball legend, Frank Thomas. Pretty cool to see him walking around campus. Let's bring on national recruiting analyst Sam Spiegelman to talk some Auburn recruiting. So who was there this weekend? Some big names. Five-star safety K.J. Bolden, four-star defensive lineman Justin Green, four-star wide receiver Cam Coleman, and four-star wide receiver and Alabama commitment Perry Thompson. Start at the top with K.J. Bolden. Second visit to Auburn this spring. What's going on between K.J. Bolden and Auburn? And a second visit after he met who you talked about, Walker White, who has been a real face for this Auburn program, and Hugh Freeze's, you know, director of recruiting in his class at the quarterback <laughs> position. But, yeah, Auburn has not been a team very much associated with K.J. Bolden um, over the last couple of months. We, we more focus on Ohio State, Alabama, and Georgia. But this spring, we know he's been taking visits to, to other programs. That includes Florida State, includes Arkansas, and also includes Auburn, which now two visits. Seems to be picking up. Hey, he's from the Atlanta, Georgia area. That's a hot spot for Auburn. Two visits, including A-Day with, with Walker White helping out recruiting efforts. I think that Auburn is entering this race. Are they at the same level as Georgia and Alabama and Ohio State? Probably not, but they're working their way up there. Yeah, and then we saw Justin Green also on campus. He's really become maybe the priority for Auburn right now on the defensive side of the ball. Now, South Carolina leads on the RPM, but it's close, and I think that this visit for Auburn really gained some ground for them. Green said after the visit, they just showed me the most love, to be honest, and it looks like they're on the come up right now. I like what I'm seeing around here, some very positive feedback. Now let's talk about four-star wide receiver Cam Coleman. He has been an on-three outlier for us, a guy that we're really high on here. Third trip to Auburn in the past two weeks. Cam Coleman also got a new offer from Clemson. He's a two-sport star out of Phoenix City, and he's coached by former Auburn quarterback Patrick Nix. So we talk about a lot of teams with Cam Coleman, but where do you think Auburn stands right now? Yeah, they're, they're at the top, top two, top three, maybe. It's it's a very elite short list for Cam Coleman. We know that Clemson is in the mix. We know that Auburn is very much in the mix. Alabama, LSU, and Florida State also hovering around. All, all three schools have gotten him on campus a good bit, but he's he's been visiting Auburn quite a bit lately. He's developing a really strong rapport with Walker White. I believe this will come down to Auburn. Clemson and neither LSU, Florida State, and Alabama, but it seems like Clemson and Auburn are sure teams to be at, in, in this until the end. All right. Now, Alabama wide receiver commitment Perry Thompson keeps showing up to Auburn. Four visits in the last six months. Is he a guy – now, I'm not saying, like, anything's imminent, but is he a guy that you have on flip watch? Absolutely. He he put himself on flip watch earlier this spring um, in an interview with with as you, uh, Chad Simmons, our, our expert here at on three. Um, he put a percentage point on his commitment to Alabama at that point. I mean, when you commit that early, on, it, it almost tells you that you're still going to go through and, and evaluate all of your options for Perry Thompson. That really means schools like Auburn and also Tennessee. Um, these other SEC schools are staying in the mix with the early Alabama commit. But Auburn, like you said, has gotten him on campus quite quite a bit. He's putting percentage points on his commitment to Alabama. Auburn is not out of it until they're officially out of it. Yeah, and I'll give you another name to put on flip watch. Again, not saying it's imminent, but Alabama linebacker commit Sterling Dixon, 6'2", 205, out of the Mobile area. He's been to Auburn a couple times, and he was at Alabama just last weekend and even then said Auburn's sitting at a solid number two. So while I don't necessarily expect anything to happen in the short term, these are two 
high profile Alabama commitments that are still kind of considering Auburn. So that's interesting. Uh, like I said, Auburn sits at number 13 overall. So Sam, what are your realistic expectations for the Tigers recruiting this cycle? It's been almost three cycles now where Auburn has failed to get back of, of top 10 recruiting class. And I think what we're seeing with Hugh Freeze back at the helm and the staff that he's assembled there in the Plains, they are not messing around any longer. They are not going to you know, settle for a top 15 or a top 20 class. This is the Auburn Tigers. They expect to be recruiting top 10 classes. Um, and I think if you starting with Walker White and the targets that they have, look at those targets that we're talking about. K.J. Bolden and, and Cam Coleman, they are going to take their swings at the best in the country. And if they even if they come up short, I expect them to be in the mix with, with better talent than they have under the last couple of coaching regimes. Um, I think I have a testament to this coaching staff. And like you said, having Walker White as a face of the program early on, I think they're going to be in the mix for a top 10 class. And I think that we're already starting to see the pieces of that. Yeah, I think that they can realistically sneak into the maybe the bottom – two spots, nine or 10. I think they could finish with the top 10 class in Hugh Freeze's first year, which, you know, they're not going to be great on the football field just yet. It's going to take them a little bit of time to turn over that roster and really improve on the field. But in year one, I do agree with you. I think that Auburn could realistically land a top 10 class. All right, Sam, thanks for joining us today on the Inside Scoop. Thank you for watching. Make sure you smash that subscribe button for me and remember to check out all the videos on the On3 YouTube page.